step one is to identify the conclusion of this argument. This last sentence here is the conclusion that the controversial viewpoint must be rethought. What is this controversial viewpoint? The point that the medical directors who take an active role in crafting and implementing treatment protocol are micromanaging. And therefore, in simple words, the conclusion is that these medical directors are not micromanaging. They are doing something worthwhile. The second step is to link the two bold faces with the conclusion. See, this first bold face here is an intermediate conclusion. This is opposite to the main conclusion of the argument. And the second bold face here is a consideration that supports the main conclusion of the argument. So, with that groundwork, let's look at the answer choices. No, the first is not the argument's primary conclusion. The first is an intermediate conclusion. The primary conclusion is opposite to the first bold face. So, answer choice A should be very comfortably eliminated. Look at answer choice B now. No, the first does not support the argument's primary conclusion. As I just explained, the first is an intermediate conclusion and the primary conclusion is just opposite. The first bold face here says that the director's role should be that of a communicator and mediator, whereas the conclusion is that medical directors doing all of this here has merit. So, answer choice B must be eliminated. Look at answer choice C now. Calling the first a conclusion is a very good term because this is an intermediate conclusion. A conclusion is a good term for an intermediate conclusion. So, yes, the first is a conclusion that the argument is in opposition to. Yes, the primary conclusion is just the opposite of this intermediate conclusion. So, a very good job here with the first half of the answer choice. This part is absolutely correct. Look at the second part. The second is not the argument's primary conclusion. Second is something which is supporting the primary conclusion. This in itself is not the primary conclusion. So, answer choice C should be eliminated. Look at answer choice D now. Calling the first a consideration is not correct. This is not a consideration here. This is an intermediate conclusion. And no, it has not been used to oppose the argument's primary conclusion. It is the other way around. The argument's primary conclusion opposes the first bold face. So, answer choice D, a bit subtle, but not correct. Look at answer choice E now. This is the only answer choice left. This better be correct. You see, the first is a conclusion. So, a very good term here, a conclusion for an intermediate conclusion here that the argument seeks to oppose. Yes, because the main conclusion here opposes this intermediate conclusion here. So, good job with the first half of the answer. Look at the second half here. The second is a consideration. Yes, this can be called a consideration, a good term here, a consideration that supports the argument's primary conclusion. Yes, the second bold face definitely supports the primary conclusion. You see, from here to here, this is all support for this main conclusion of the argument here. And therefore, this is definitely correct to say that the second bold face here supports the argument's main conclusion. E is the correct answer choice.